Hello and welcome back to The Good Witch. This is your February 2020 Libra reading, okay? Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Before I start, where'd it go? Libra, if someone's hurting you emotionally, and some of you actually physically, if someone's hurting you, it's time that you do something about it. You have to evaluate your own situation. You need to leave. If you're unable to leave, you need to say something to someone who can help you so that you can be eased of this situation. Um, that's not for everybody, but that's for someone or some, a couple of you specifically. We're going to look at love, finances, and personal growth, a message from the divine. Oh, I've been trying to say it in all of my February videos. It's really important that you like, share, and mostly subscribe because I will be out of town. I will be out of the country for actually a lot this year, but mainly for the month for February, for the rest of February. And I will be in different parts of Africa and I'll be going to the pyramids and I'll be going to all of these different places. But I want to be able to take you with me. I want to be able to go live with you when I'm doing certain rituals and certain ceremonies and I cannot do them if I do not have a set number of subscribers because YouTube won't allow me to. And I can't record these things, but I can go live. I won't have time to sit there and hold the phone and record, but I can prop up a phone somewhere and go live and do whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay? So if you get me there, I will do some live things from for you from Kenneth from some of the rituals and I'll be with the Sacred Women group and we'll be doing that. So jumping right back into your reading. If someone's hurting you and you need a consultation, reach out to me at thegoodwitch.com, okay? A lot of you have a very ominous energy around you. I don't think this person is... Please take this for who it's for and not for... This one hopefully is not for the majority. Um, this person that is hurting you is hurting you emotionally, spiritually. Almost like telling you what you could never do or never become. Trying to lower your self-esteem because theirs isn't the highest. Okay? So be aware of that. Let's look. Let's see what's going on in your love life. You have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Some of you have two people in your life. And some of you, this will be you and your partner. First group, let's look at the people with more, with two people. You want peace between, you want peace. You all want peace. And you have one that's offering you emotion and someone to talk to and a shoulder to lean on and a friend to be there for. And the other one that's offering you passion and fiery type of love energy that you enjoy. You have your scales, Libra. And you're trying to weigh out your options. But you want them both. And together you feel like they provide you balance. But you don't feel like it's fair to them. And it's honestly not if they don't know. If they're aware and they're fine with it, so be it. But if they're unaware, no, it's not fair. The 
the one that's providing the passion. It's only, it's lust. I won't say it's only lust. It's lust, but it's, excuse me, it's not lust that is dangerous, but it won't be more than what it is. If you're waiting on that lust to turn into a long-term relationship or something of the sort, it won't. That's not what that is, okay? The one who is offering emotion is up at night worried about you. Even if they know that you're out with this other person, they're worried about your well-being because they truly do care about you. But your heart's just not in it with them for some reason. They're too weak for you, some of you. The person that's offering you emotions wants to give you everything. They want to pour into you and give you everything that you want. Um, not just financially, but emotionally, spiritually. They want to be that one person for you. It's very beautiful. The other fiery passion person enjoys you. They like having fun with you. They're not trying to pour into you that way. They just, they don't want to fight with you. They want to avoid a tower moment with you. And they're seeing, possibly seeing someone else. Even if they're not sleeping with this person, they're thinking of this person frequently. It's a person possibly from their past that they just haven't quite let go of emotionally. Hmm. Some of you, the person that they were with is somebody that has passed away. And they just... They're stuck in that place and they don't want to get close to anybody else right now. Okay. So, let's look at, okay, another one. I'll tell you, listen. Don't worry about it. Make sure you're, if you choose to be honest, be honest, but be aware that the fiery, passionate person is lustful and they're not ready to commit or settle down. This other person wants to give you everything and be there for you wholeheartedly. That would be the decision I would suggest you make. But you have all the facts. Tarot readings give you facts. The decision is still ultimately up to you. And if you have peace with them both, enjoy that. If that's what you want to do, as long as you're not hurting nobody in the process. So, now, if this fire energy and this emotional energy are not two separate people, if it's you and your partner, are you and the person that you're dealing with? Because some of you aren't in a relationship with this person. You're just talking to this person. This is still for you. Um, some of you, one of you wants... Six and the other one wants the motion. One of you want to go to the club and one of you want to sit on the couch and watch Netflix together. Talk about getting old. And the other one wants to go party. Got it? What do we do? I see you guys having some interference from a friend. Someone that you've known for a long time. One of you has known for a very long time. And this person is in the other person's ear saying things like, um, I don't know what you see in them. Yada, yada, yada. You guys have nothing in common. They're being very judgy of you or of your partner. And they want you to let it go. They want you to wipe the sleep clean with this person. And you don't want to. You're not cutting off this person. This interference from this 
from this friend is going to cause a tower moment between you and the person that you're with if you're not careful. So don't bring them all of the nonsense that this person is spewing. Not nonsense, but this stuff that this person is spewing. And if it's the other way around, tell them not to bring it to you. Because it doesn't matter for y'all relationship. If what y'all have going on works, if they okay being at home watching Netflix till you get back from the club or vice versa, so be it. That's your choice. And I do feel like this person that's interfering has a crush on them and they're hiding their emotions. They think they would be a better fit for your person than, or for you than your person. Like I said, this these two people can be reversed. But this person feels like they would be a better fit, okay? So be aware of that. They see themselves, the interference person sees themselves in a very high regard. Let's look at your, you know, I listen to spirit. So the person with the interference, they could very well be a good fit for you or for this other person. Spirit is saying, don't be stubborn. Don't jump to do anything, but don't be stubborn. At least here, if they come clean and they're open about what they want and what their true intentions are, and they tell you what they want and don't just try to throw someone else under the bus, Listen to what they have to say. Especially if you're not happy in this situation. If you're the one at home watching Netflix while this person is out at the club and you're pretending that you like it and you don't, this might be necessary interference. Listen. Don't take action yet. Just listen. Okay? It's February. You got a lot of time. Okay, let's look at your money, Libra. Okay, you have the nine of disc, you have the death card, and you have the star card. So you're making some changes. You're getting what you, you're on your way to the path. You're on your way to money. money this will be a good money month for you. You'll have enough for your bills and enough left over to do some of the things you want, right? As far as growth goes, if you want to gain your wish fulfillment, you're going to have to make some changes. You're going to have to kill some things, let some things go, let some things die. You're going to have to make some changes. It's still the beginning of 2020. You have to make the changes that you wanted to see for 2020. All that New Year's resolution stuff that you put out there, if you put anything out there, are those things that you've been writing down in your journal or trying to manifest? Now is the time for you to put in the work to get those things and let go of those things that you need to let go of that are keeping you from getting those things. And you have the three of wands. You've been going, excuse me, now, you've been going back and forth with the idea and you've been kind of toggling between your purpose and your fear. Yeah, pick one. Whichever one you pick is fine with me, but if you choose to choose your fear and stand in your fear and do and not live in your purpose, just know that that's a choice. No one's going to force you to walk in your purpose. You have to choose to walk in your purpose. So as long as you're going back and forth and you're on the fence about it, you're making a choice about not walking into your purpose. Ooh, ouch. Again with the indecision. Yes, your money is, will be fine. You'll have the money to pay your bills. You'll even have a little left over. You're being way too indecisive. You just got the hangman. If 
you choose not to walk in your purpose, that's five. If you choose mediocrity, that's fine. No judgment. But please remember that it's choice. And this month you have the opportunity to take action, to change some things, to bring forth those things that are in your purpose. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. The good witch will love you anyway. But don't complain about it. But you have the opportunity to. Right now you have more than enough to be okay. But not enough to be your greatest. Please watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's look at your message from the divine. Mm. You got the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Five of Wands. And the Four of Wands in reverse. So. Refusing to let things go is causing you to be incomplete. Let me say it again. Refusing to let things go is causing you to be incomplete. Mm. I just felt a whole hand go down from my head to my back. It's okay. But refusing to let things go is causing you to be incomplete. So the Wheel of Fortune, I think this, the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. But you're going to have to make some changes and you're going to have to let things go. The Moonology Tarot deck that I pulled from from you guys, it's time to take action. New Moon in Aries. It is time to take action. Action means listening to the interception or the interference. Deciding between your people or to keep them both. Making the changes that you need to be great instead of just stable. Letting go of those things that bound you. That is action. Those are actions. But choosing not to take an action is also an action. So think on that, okay? Um, from the Orisha Oracle deck, I pulled the Devil card for you. I just did a video on Oya right before I did this one. Technically, in Yoruba culture, there is no there is no devil like there is in Christianity. But I guess they added him because it is a tarot deck and there is a devil card. So the devil is not an Orisha. That all energies require light and dark, right? But this one does represent change. It can also represent that there is a darkness. Or Oh, I did say at the beginning of this video that you may have some ominous energy around you. That must be who this is for. That there is some darkness or some, someone might have put a hex on you or is watching you. Even if it's unintentional, they're sending you negative vibes. Or you may have someone who actually hired somebody or a witch to do something 
negative to you. Especially if you playing with people's emotions. So, or you may be the one who's doing that. Yep, don't hit me up for that. I don't do negative things to people. I don't do that. Unless they really deserved it and then we could talk about that separately. But anyway, go to my site, hit up consultation from The Good Witch at thegoodwitch.com. T-H-G-O-O-D, witch.com. Okay, plug, yay. Also, remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, but the devil is showing up very ominously, casting a very different energy. Let's see. What else do we have? Is there anything else from the Orisha Oracle Tarot deck that Libras need to know for February of 2020? It's the two of earth. It's not, okay. It's the two of earth. If you see, you see a war. It's in a cave. He's very settled. He needs to move on. But he refuses to go. So he gets stuck where he is. If you refuse to change, You'll be a very large walrus in a very small cave. The answer to your question, if you have one right now, yes, Thursday, not necessarily today, but Thursday, and it's forgiven. Okay? Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. This is The Good Witch. Wishing you peace, blessings, and so much understanding. I feel like a lot of you are going to need personal readings to help you make some of these decisions. And we can do that sooner rather than later. Okay? Oh, but I think I might be all booked up for February, but you can try it. If you go to my site, it lets you select the dates that I'm available, dates and times that I'm available. So go ahead and do that. All right. Peace, love, and light.